Hi students, let's try to understand types of overlapping and nature of covalent bond. So, how is sigma bond student formed? Sigma bond is formed by head to head overlapping. Sigma bond is formed by end to end overlapping of the bonding orbital along the intermolecular and along the internuclear axis. This overlapping is also known as head to head overlapping. Considering x axis as the internuclear axis, which of the following will not form sigma bond and why? So, 1s and 1s, they will form the sigma bond student. If you it is forming the sigma bond, then 2px, 1s and 2px. So, 1s and 2px, it is able to form sigma bond. 2py, 2py. So, 2py, 2py orbital will not form the sigma bond because x axis is internuclear axis. So, it is going to form what is student pi bond. 1s and 2s, if you talk about 1s and 2s, they are capable to form a student sigma bond. So, this is what. Now, they are saying what is the pi bond? A pi bond is formed by sidewise overlap the half filled atomic orbital of the bonding atoms. Such a sidewise overlap is known as lateral overlapping. The atomic orbital overlap in such a way that their axis remain parallel to each other and perpendicular to the internuclear axis. The orbital obtained as a result of the sidewise overlapping consists of the two saucer type charged cloud above and below the plane participating at a so 2 py and 2 py it is forming the pi bond here you can see. So, now we will study the next one strength of sigma and pi bond strength. Thank you so much for watching.